up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today we're discussing about the iOS 9.3.3 which finally got released by Apple. Well, it's been a, a lot of time since they started with the first beta of this iOS 9.3.3 and there were a lot of speculations about the jailbreak being released after iOS 9.3.3 gets published by Apple. So let's just get straight into it and let's see what's new in this iOS 9.3.3. At first I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to show you the general, sorry, I'm on iOS 9.3.2 for the moment and if you are on iOS 9.3.2 I suggest you to remind right here on the iOS 9.3.2. And I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't update. Okay, I'm going to go to software update and as you can see, iOS 9.3.3, it's finally up. It says that iOS 9.3.3 includes bug fixes and improves the security for your iPhone or iPad, probably not on your iPod. And it's only 33.8 megabits. This is the bad part. It doesn't contain any functions. It has nothing new. Compared with iOS 9.3.2, there is nothing new, probably a little bit of bug fixes, but for you as a user, as a normal user, with no hacking knowledge, there is nothing changed, nothing improved. Well, why they did release this? Well, it's kind of strange. Some people believe that they actually created iOS 9.3.3 and create a lot of betas, five betas in total, just to delay the jailbreak and to delay the jailbreakers activity and they come up with a 33.8 megabit firmware which of course you gotta be kidding me I mean 33.8 megabit this should be a joke and um, basically as I said it only contains bug fixes but it's very important because Pangu and Taiji were a lot speculated by others on YouTube that they're going to release after 9.3.3 is being released, that they're going to release it for 9.3.2 and there were a lot of battles in words on YouTube and on Reddit, on a jailbreak Reddit, about the fact that Apangu or Taiji are going to release a jailbreak either for 9.3.2 or for 9.3.3 at this point in time we still don't have any answer, any official answer from, from Pangu if they are going to release iOS 9.3.3 or 9.3.2 jailbreak. So what this means? This means you should not update to iOS 9.3.3 because if you do that, in a few days you won't be able to come back to the iOS 9.3.2 because Apple is going to close the signature window and you will be stuck on iOS 9.3.3. And if Pango happens to release a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.2 which most likely is going to happen because of the WebKit exploit which is very powerful but got patched in iOS 9.3.3 so they can only use it for 9.3.2 you won't be able to downgrade so stay on the um, iOS 9.3.2 if you did update to iOS 9.3.3 then go back right now you can still do it as I'm speaking you can still do it and probably until tomorrow or the day after tomorrow you can still downgrade to iOS 9.3.2 because the uh, signature window is still open so what is that uh, exploit I mean if I go here to Safari you can see that this is my uh, jailbreak update playlist on my channel on uh, iDevice Central channel the iOS hashtag jailbreak updates contains 42 videos as you can see and if you are logged in you can click plus right here and add it to your playlist so you will get notified when I'm updating the playlist. Here I include every video about jailbreak updates or discoveries. I mean you gotta be checking those videos. This one with the uh, iOS 10 and the scammers and this one right here the first video again with some jailbreak scammers but talking about the exploit here in one of these videos you can see that GS Magic was a team that well a so-called team that said they have iOS 9.3.2 jailbreak but they were finally confirmed as fake then somebody had an idea to release a, an iOS 9.2.1 source code for a so-called jailbreak that you can create after that on, uh, on OS X but again it was very hard and it wasn't complete but in all of these videos you have information about look at Desco and his WebKit exploit because this is where I wanted to come his exploit 
his so-called exploit, is basically an exploit imported, I think, from PlayStation, and it's a WebKit exploit, which means that you can jailbreak through Safari, which is kind of similar to Jailbreak Me, which worked for previous farmers, for example, I don't know, um, iOS 4, I don't remember well, but the idea is that it is very powerful, but the problem is that they managed to patch it. If, man if they manage to patch it, it means that in iOS 9.3.3, the one that was released today, that exploit is completely useless. And uh, on iOS 9.3.2, it still works. This means that Pangu might be looking into creating an iOS 9.3.2 jailbreak just because they have this powerful WebKit exploit created by Luca Tedesco or discovered by Luca Tedesco. You can see this video right here I have on the screen, it's in the description or in the card right here on top. If you want to understand more about the exploit and about the battle that was undergoing between Luca Tedesco and GS Magic team, at that time GS Magic wasn't confirmed fake and you can see a lot of information right here, but mostly about the WebKit exploit which is very important. This is why I think that Pangu are going to release the iOS 9.3.2 jailbreak instead of 9.3.3 and this is why I tell you to stay on iOS 9.3.2 and not to update because as I said if they are going to release an iOS 9.3.2 jailbreak and you have iOS 9.3.3 you won't be able to jailbreak once again. So stay on the iOS 9.3.2, it costs you nothing and as you can see as I said if you go here, iOS 9.3.3 is just a 38, sorry, 33.8 megabits firmware. It only contains bug fixes and improvements for security, which doesn't really help you at all. It doesn't worth updating to it and losing the ability to jailbreak. So just do not click download and install. Okay, so what's the problem? Why they are going to release a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.x and not for iOS 10. Well, iOS 10 is still in beta. It was created the uh, public beta, which is the, uh, the second beta of the iOS 10. And during the Mosaic, Pangu talked about the fact that they do have the jailbreak, the stable jailbreak for iOS 10, but they were not going to release it until iOS 10 is up, which probably means by September or, I don't know, late this fall, which means that you're not going to get a jailbreak for iOS 10 very soon. And they're going to focus on iOS 9.3.x to jailbreak it. It will probably be the latest iOS 9.3.x jailbreak available and they after that will start developing for iOS 10 only. Well, here on their website, this is their only website, do not trust any other website. In my previous video, you, you can get it from the description or in the playlist, we talked about fake websites and we came across a website that looks completely scale to scale, 100% like Pangu's website, even the buttons, even the animations, everything. But when you click on download, you are being redirected to a paid survey. So. Pay attention only to go to english.pangu.io if you want to arrive to the uh, Pangu website and if you want to go to Taiji website, it's taiji.com, not taiji9, not taiji8, not any other address, only taiji.com. And remember well that Taiji has its name right here in Chinese, not in English, as I saw some fake websites. So just keep that in mind, it will save you from a lot of pain in the ass. And of course, do not forget to check out my website, FC365 Firmware Manager. Here you can get the latest updates about the iOS jailbreak, iCloud bypass, and anything like this. The latest article is the yesterday article in which I talked about the iOS 10 beta 2, 64-bit setup with app patch for iCloud bypass, and some new jailbreak scammers. If you go right here, you can go straight into the video and you will get to know which are those scammers and why you should avoid them. Most of them are paid, and this is the problem, you should be very careful while doing this. This is a video, I really recommend you to see it, it's very important. Now, this is it guys, hopefully iOS 9.3.3 will be a good release, not in terms of stability and bugs and features, but in terms of jailbreak, and hopefully it will stop the series of iOS 9.x. Thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, and as I said, check out my playlist, it's right here, Click on the plus button to add it and stay updated. Till the next time, guys, I'm Joe Snow. 
goodbye.